Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another Motivational Monday. Today we are going to try and get organized for Eid al-Adha. We've got just over two weeks to go before Eid arrives and if you want to spend the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah with um, doing Ibadah and things like that, then you've got even less time. So let's try to put together a little list and see what we can get through as quickly as possible so that we have as less stress as possible before Eid begins. I recommend starting with an exhaustive list. I've got a page dedicated to Ramadan and Eid in my planner. If you'd like to see how I set this up, I will leave a link to it in the description box below and above. What I do is I separate things into categories, things that I need to shop for and things that I need to get done. And then I break it down by category. That way I know exactly what I've got left to do and what I've already done. So for example, I've got gifts. I've got a few that I need to buy still, wrap them and tag them. Uh, for decorations, we've got everything that we need, but I want to put them all in one box so that they're ready to go. And I'm not looking for things last minute to make sure that uh, there's batteries and lights and that we have enough hooks and tape for things. I finally decided what we are going to be making for our food gifts. So I need to put together a shopping list for ingredients and we need to have those by the 30th of August. I decided to get two books for the kids and focus on just those two books because sometimes I feel like it can get really overwhelming with so many books and activities and things like that. And for my children, I just want to focus on two, this Hajj and Eid uh, to teach them about it. I'm going to pick those up from the library. I don't think that we need to buy everything all the time. They're available at our local library, so I'm not um, adding to our budget any more than I need to. The other thing that I will be doing with the kids are some activities. I'll leave a link in the description box below for the website where I got a few ideas. They have really, really great ideas and they're tailored to very different ages. So depending on what your kids like, how old they are, you'll be able to find something, I'm sure. So we are doing a couple of things that I will share later um, and I need to get a few supplies for that. As far as clothes go, I need to make sure that they're ironed. Uh, that they're hung up, ready with their accessories, shoes, etc. Anything that I need to get for my outfit, all of that sorted ASAP. decorations together and things that you need for gifts or cards things like that it doesn't have to be a box use a bag whatever is convenient for you I've got a box so I'm using a box um, I've got some uh, cards in here there's some that extra ones that the kids decorated last year that I want to use um, and then some other cards these are by Islamic moments um, that I'll be giving to people some ribbon and other decorations uh, these are our little um, lights they are absolutely tiny and they're so pretty look um so those ones i've got a couple of others and i'm going to look for them and put them in here um and then some uh gift bags for sweets and things like that i'm not sure whether i'm going to be using these ones or these ones for kids so I, i'm putting them both in here and then i'll decide later um our bunting again from islamic moments and that we used last aid and we'll be using it this aid again so that goes in there um, some cupcake boxes because some of the things that we're giving out are cupcakes so we are going to keep those in here. I've got a uh, some ribbon and then a spare bag that I'm going to be putting my husband's present in when it gets here. And some glue dots and there you have it everything is in one place you don't have to worry about looking for it 
especially when you're running around just before you doing last minute things, which you shouldn't be if you've done everything that I've said to do. <laughs> I decided to plan the kids' activities a little differently this time. What I decided to focus on was three activities that I know they really, really like and enjoy, and that was suitable, obviously, for their age and capabilities. Um, I know that, for example, my daughter is really hands-on, really creative, and so she would love something like this. So I created a little printable um, for like a sheep activity. You could use uh, cotton wool or cotton pads, whatever you have on hand, and some of these, and you could use some of these wiggly eyes um, to add eyes onto the sheep. Um, I left that out just in case some people didn't want to use them. Um, and then they can color in the ears and the legs um, and write their names down here. And they and it's got a little date so that if you want to keep it for them, like in a keepsake box or something like that, you know. Um, which child did what and when basically. Um, so that's one of their activities. A couple of the other activities that we're going to be doing um, are a Lego um, Kaaba and a few other things as well as um, making a little Kaaba out of uh, their milk boxes which I, I'm really looking forward to because we get through those milk boxes so much and I always feel bad that we can't really do that many activities with them so this will be interesting to do. I've linked all of the activities that we are um, interested in doing or the ones that I was looking through to choose from in the description box below so if you want to um, have a look through you can I'm sure you'll be able to find something that's suitable for your child if you want to download one of these it's um, available on the blog I will leave the link below it's a free printable so all you have to do is sign up to the newsletter and then you'll get a link to download it Thank you so much for joining me this Motivational Monday. If you found that beneficial, please share it with your friends and family, like the video and subscribe for more. Thank you.